for all of those that question the credibility of what I said on Mark Sargent's show. So this is for you, Mark Sargent, episode 52, my Masonic credentials. So upon becoming a 32nd degree in the Scottish Rite, here's the certificate that was given to me. Here's my certificate of becoming a Master Mason. Here's my certificate for being accepted into the Royal Arch York Rite uh, and the degrees that are involved with that. Here's my certificate that shows that I'm a Sir Knight in the York Rite, which is the Knights Templar. It's actually one of the jackets that I had made at one point. Let's move around this. So a big reason for why I wanted to come out and say the things that I did, you know, Babylon Rising and the First Shall Be the Last by Mark by Rob Skiba, excellent book. I recommend everybody read it. Genesis 6 Conspiracy, I'm in the middle of it. It's quite a big document. I actually did sit as an elected officer in the chapter and council, and when you do, you're given the books that give you how to open and close and some of the work and how that's actually highlighted that would have been my part in opening and closing. One of the things that I couldn't get into on that I wanted to on Mark's show is the Little Blue Book, which most people don't really know about, but it's in code in a lot of places. As a Master Mason, I can actually read that. When you are a junior warden, you are basically the attorney for the lodge so that anything that would relate to the Grand Lodge laws, the junior warden is who would be the one to investigate those, uh, that part of um, any questions that anybody would have. So along with that would be all the constituted lodge, lodges in Texas, a list of the lodges Masonic, which is for the whole world. So if we have a visitor coming in to see if they are uh, recognized by by uh, Texas Grand Lodge, we would reference the list here. Uh, here's the badge they give you that you wear for any of the Scottish Rite uh, stated meetings or degrees. They actually gave this to us when we got our 32nd, which I think that ring that's inside the pyramid is probably the one that Mark Sargent's grandfather had. I've got a bunch of old dues cards that I've continued to keep and those are for a bunch of the different uh, years and appendant bodies. I always keep the Grand Lodge of Texas laws, the monitor for the lodge, here are my vehicle badges that I had not put on because I keep my company logo and information on my truck and I really don't want to combine the two. This is my real uh, lambskin apron that's given when you become a Master Mason with the date that I was initiated all the way through to being raised as a Master Mason in my lodge. This is actually the candidate card that we had for going through the Scottish Rite. This is the reunion or the festival uh, schedule, which they do it over two days, and as you can see, the list of degrees they put on that first day, which are quite a few. So anybody that doesn't believe they can put on, you know, 15 to 17 degrees in a day, that's the schedule. They do the same thing with the York Rite. So they'll start on a Friday evening and they will have a, the three degrees and then they will do um, a Saturday morning breakfast, more degrees, and then in the after lunch they'll confer all of the Knights Templar degrees. This is my copy of Dor Morals and Dogma that was given to me after becoming a 32nd degree Scottish Rite Mason. Everything that I said on Mark's program can be actually referenced right out of here so that for anybody that believes that I, you know, just am spilling all these secrets that, you know, that, that I'm going to get killed over, which is ridiculous. Everything is for the most part in here, I just connected a lot of dots 
and included my interpretation after reading, you know, some of Rob's work in Dwayne Wayne's, or Gary Wayne's, I'm sorry. Here is the Masonic Bible that I took my master's degree obligation on. It is given to you. These are all the gentlemen that were a part of the degree team that signed the Bible. And then I'm also given the information for, at this point, my Masonic career. Here are pictures of the interior of the temple in Fort Worth where I talk about the trust system and the all-seeing eye in the triangle with the shape of the yin-yang and what I think that means. I happen to have these on my phone and blew them up. Pretty cool. Very ornate, just like what I talked about. Here's Mackey's Revised Encyclopedia of Freemasonry, which I referenced when I was talking to Mark. And here is the hat, the cap that you get when you become a 32nd degree Mason that you store in a nice little box. Um, so basically for all of those who still doubt that what I said uh, wasn't true, everything that I said on Mark's show is easily, easily provable in what I just laid out. Thanks and have a great day.